instead of just making them create a shoot, we create a concept, we create an environment about what that shoot means, or what it states, and history behind it. It's a lot deeper than just a basketball shoot. I like the term smooth. I think the shoe should illustrate a certain smooth. It just looks so smooth that it just kind of stands out. You just look at it and you just keep looking at it. And you yeah. just see, you know, that's, that's more pretty time. cool. One of the most sophisticated forms of music that's smooth and flowing is kind of the whole jazz thing. That's what's unique about jazz as any other art form is the improvisation. People would see your improvisation, but the reality is it is built and based in a strong foundation. To me, he was just always in the flow of the moment. He was extremely smooth. He was graceful. He had an elegance on the court that was kind of unparalleled. But the cool thing about that was that he was also able to put a twist on it and kind of deliver the unexpected. And I think those are some of the things that really kind of allowed Michael to be that much greater than everyone else. The type of basketball player I like to see is a guy that he seems like he's just moving at ease right. at the end of the night. You don't know what he's done until you look at the box score, you probably have 40 points. Our goal not only is to create a great looking product, but number one thing is we need to make sure that this thing delivers on performance. What our consumer is telling us is that he wants to wear it his way. Keep it lightweight, snug fit, a product that provides some support. Shoe has the great operating they just throw brothers twisted. <laughs> and they have to be classy and stylish, elegant, extremely sophisticated. It's a melody that's something that has some soul to it. It's grounded. It doesn't look like some you're wearing some space shoe on your foot. But modern, like all the Jordans have always wear. The key to this thing is is just making sure that we're delivering on an unexpected product. Let's take the best of the best in all aspects of this thing and, and make it happen. The story we see is an evolution of thought of where we have come from and where we're going. Utilize that in whatever capacity that you can be creative with. We want to do something that's really right in relation to the foot. And I think that the closer we can get to the foot and the, and the foot topography and in terms of fit and support and, and everything is just really key and important. I like for it to be tight. I like for it to be fit. I like to have a purpose. Right. You know, Absolutely. I don't, I don't want it to just be there for an aesthetic. With Michael, he's always concerned about performance, and I think we just, we need to really make sure that no matter what we do cosmetically to this shoe, that it all fits in with the performance package, which we're talking about people who are getting in the air, people who are quicker but still pretty good size. So the shoe is not just a flimsy, lightweight product. It's a shoe that helps the player play quicker and better, but also protects them from injury. Well, all I can say is don't screw up. Thanks, no pressure. This shoe is all about what I say, midfoot support and giving people options and to, to improvise the shoe the way that they want to in terms of different lacing options and like a lace cover that would come over the top of the shoe. The heel stabilizer allows the pressure to come down on equal basis. This bottom's got to really, you know, perform well. So we've added a sticky rubber in these red zones, like here, here, here. It looks good. It feels good. But how do we funk it up a little bit? We did some studies into the Aston Martin and, uh, yeah, you know, Aston Martin. Well, you know, that you know, you know, right down my alley. Oh, well, absolutely. The interior of the Austin Martin with the nice leathers, clean and simple color stories that's going on, the very nice finishes here in terms of the brushed aluminum, a translucency happening, which is similar to something that we're looking at on the midsole. This is a good looking shoe. This is not far off. I have this very simple, clean Jordan design where you, you know, you, that's going to be very distinctive on the court. That's what I like. That's the shoe. Mm -hmm. That is the shoe right there. Mm -hmm. Get me that shoe. Alright. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Right there. We'll make it happen. <laughs> we'll make it happen. I think and you can do it. Alright, cool. We'll go to town. <laughs>